Hello everyone, I'm Rexel and today we'll be walking through how I did this painting of Jet that garnered a lot of attention in the Valorant community. Let's jump right into it. Here I start with a rendered image of Jet. Won't be covering that in this video but basically I got the model off of a YouTube video. I'll link it in the description. Then a poster in a running pose, then just rendered it in Blender. After that, I start sketching out the scene of what I had in mind. Then I brought this picture of Ascent. It's from the Valorant homepage, I think. Then made that as a base for my color palette. I usually plan out my scenes a bit more, but since this is a speed painting, improvising and relying on my visual library is what I mainly did for this painting. That image of Ascent, as a starting point, helped me figure out the scene really quickly because I only needed to color pick from the canvas the colors that I really needed. After blocking in the rough shapes, I start shading them, adding shadows and ambient occlusion, make the forms stand out by adding highlights. If you're serious about art and you want to do this for a living, Having a secondary monitor is a really good thing to have because it really helps you to put your reference images all in your second monitor. And it's always handy to have that in your field of vision while you work on your painting. Every time I do a painting like this, I usually have a mood board already set up using PureRef. You can actually look it up, it's a free program, I use it all the time. I constantly look back and forth between my painting and the things that I'm referencing. And this helped me especially regarding shape design and how the original Riot illustrators made decisions regarding how they drew and painted their shapes. Here I thought of what could I add as an iconic thing about Ascent. And after looking at the bird's eye view of the map, the one that you see on the loading screen, I decided that the tower was a really iconic landmark for Ascent. So I added that to the background. If you noticed, Valorant has a lot of opaque and distinct shapes of color and almost no prominent gradients. This really helped me block out the light shapes on Jet. Then it was just a matter of playing off of those existing shapes then making them just a bit more interesting. I actually used a bunch of filters first on the whole image. I made this in Krita and Krita has a lot of powerful filters. I used both the posterize and the oil paint filter. Both look really good already and made the process like 10 times faster. Now we're kind of in the last 20% of the painting. So from here moving forward, all of this time is spent on just polishing what's already been established. And that's something I wish other people would do more. I see a lot of people putting in details in the first 15 to 30 minutes of painting, while they haven't even figured out the scene yet, the lighting, the composition, and it's much more heartbreaking to see that the composition won't work and you have to erase something you already put so much details on. A lot of beginner artists I see just move straight into details and not give enough time and attention to the big picture stuff. I had a tricky problem with Omen as I started fleshing him out more. I was deciding on whether or not to put the operator in more of a rest pose or an action pose. Deciding between having the operator on a profile view or having it point towards the camera both have their pros and cons but having the operator on a profile view makes it so that you can actually recognize that it's the operator and it's just overall a much more iconic silhouette and you can actually distinguish even from afar while having the operator point at the camera actually loses its silhouette and you won't recognize that what gun omen is using it could be a phantom it could be a vandal we wouldn't know because the silhouette of the long barrel of the operator is gone so i decided with just 
using the profile view instead because sometimes clarity wins over the coolest looking shots. At this point, everything was getting a bit too noisy and I wanted to wheel it back in. Sometimes the path to the better painting is actually having less details. If you look at the Valorant illustrations, most of them are really simplified and they really hone in on their focal point. Here I have too many shades that are just too distracting and not that faithful to the original Valorant design. So I color picked all the shades of grey that I wanted to remove then just simplified them into one shade but still keeping in mind the sexy shapes of Valorant. Here I'm painting more of the details of the background mainly focusing on how much can I imply with the least amount of brush strokes. Since this is a background element, we don't really need to see every nook and cranny that the building has since they're all going to be faded out anyway. That's another good thing to keep in mind whenever you're painting a more complex scene like this. Sometimes you just need to let go and just suggest the elements without actually painting everything in, especially if they are secondary elements or even tertiary elements that aren't really in the focal point or in the focal area. Here, I experimented with changing the overall colors of the piece with a color balance filter. They also have this in Photoshop if you're curious. And I really encourage everyone to try this one out for yourself. Not enough people utilize the tools that digital painting programs offer. You can try making it a bit more blue a bit more yellow, a bit more purple, and you can encounter lots of happy accidents just by testing it and looking to see if it works or not. I had a tough time with the face of Jet here. She looks robotic and not enough expression. After tinkering with it, it was still unappealing so I changed it drastically so that she's doing more of a smirk, something that highly resembles Jet's personality. Here we see the changes I made to the face, which is way more appealing in my opinion. And I was all happy with how it turned out. Here I was focusing on just tightening out the shapes of it more, then adding some more details around Omen and make it look like it's smoke particles from his animations and visual effects. Now I start adding some more shape interests regarding Jet's costume, blending shapes together or simplifying them into one larger shape or breaking up one of those into smaller and separate shapes. You can actually see this a lot in the Valorant art style. As we're wrapping up, I just wanna quickly thank you for making it this far. You can support me by clicking the like button and you can go ahead and subscribe to see more videos such as this one. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, links down below. As a question for you dear viewers, comment down below which agent you would want to see next. Anyways, that's all for now. See you next time. Be faster.